been walking around and thinking a lot lately. If you're watching this video, you'll probably watch a lot of movies. And have you ever noticed this one specific effect where the cameraman is zooming in to the subject, but the background is zooming out and you're like, how? What is going on? <laughs> like, what is this effect? It's so cool. It's so dope. That effect is called the vertigo effect. And this is exactly what I'll be teaching you today. Trust me, this effect is so easy to make. I can make it in less than a minute. That's how easy it is, seriously. But before getting to the tutorial, there are some tips I want to give you. For example, first and foremost, if you want to get the best look, but you don't have the glide cam nor the gimbal, well, I'm guessing you'll probably have to go to your neighbor's house and ask for equipment or settle up a date with warp stabilizer. And both you and me know that it's a bad idea, okay? Come on, it's 2018. Who doesn't own a gimbal yet? Like seriously. Anyway, you're probably already bored listening to me, so let's get to the real stuff. <laughs> For this test, I'll be using the Zhiyun Crane 2. I also own the Crane 2, but since the motors on the Crane 2 are a lot stronger and more reliable, it has proven itself to deliver me smoother dolly and running type of shots. Before going out and trying this for yourself, there are some theoretical aspects of this effect I want to point out. Trust me, this information will save you from minor headaches. To get this look just right, you first want to find the location with a cool looking background. And make sure both your subject and the background are in focus and sharp. So turn that aperture down. Also bear in mind that the effect will look and feel different depending on the lens you are using. The more zoomed in lens, the harder it is to achieve the effect and it will look more dramatic. This is exactly why I am using Crane 2 because it is even possible to achieve smooth shots when zoomed in 85mm. With wide angle lenses, it is easier to manage the effect and looks less dramatic but still has a very uneasy vibe to it. Does that make sense? If your camera can record 4K, make sure to do it because then in post it will look more detailed and juicy. What about focusing though? Well, since I am using Sony Alpha 6500, I will be leaving autofocus on. But if you don't have good autofocus, you can always stop down the aperture to 9 or 11 so that everything is in focus and you don't have to worry about it being out of focus. Now you are ready to go on the field and film. All you have to do is either more towards the subject or away from it. The subject can stay on spot, walk forward or backwards. It all depends on the look you're going after. Here are some examples of all these situations. And we're done with the hardest part. Once we have all the footage, let's open up Premiere, import all of the footage and create a 1080p sequence. Since I filmed all of my clips in 4K, once I drag it onto a 1080p timeline, it'll automatically be zoomed in and I'll tell you why that's cool and important. I'll begin by dragging the clips where the subject is staying still and I am going towards her. In this situation, all you have to do is go to the beginning of the clip, click on the time watch of scaling and then go to the end of the clip and change the scale from 50 to 100%. Boom! The effect is done. Now if you are using 1080p clips, you will have to zoom in at the beginning of the clip from 100% to at least 150%. And this is why you should be filming in 4K, because with 1080p you will have a noticeable loss in quality. And now if we choose another clip where I am moving backwards but she is moving forward, all you have to do is switch scaling up. For example, Go to the beginning of the clip and leave the scale as it is. Now go to the end of the clip and zoom in extra 50%. And here you go. Once again we have nailed the effect. Here's a dope edit I cooked up for you. Big thanks to the awesome people at Zhiyun Tech for hooking me up with the Crane 2. What I really like about them is that not only they deliver solid products, but they show massive respect and support towards their community. Thank you for watching this video, hope you didn't hate my face too much, and if you have any suggestions what to cover next, let me know right away. Peace!